Winners is sitting in the secret square, and the contestant who picks it first could win a prize package worth over $4,000. Which star is it? Suzanne Flechette. George Goebel. Florence Henderson. Rich Little. Rosemary. Milton Burl. Wayland and Smedley. <laughs> Jonathan Winters or Paul in Paul in the Hollywood Square. And here is the master of the Hollywood Squares, Peter Martin. Thank you, Kelly. Good evening. Welcome to the Hollywood Squares. Hello, stars. I want you to meet a young lady who is a sales representative for a telephone company, uh, has a young son and daughter. This is Bertha Johnson. Welcome to our soiree, Bertha. Nice to see you. Thank you. Good luck this evening. Bertha told me uh, right before we went on the air, she said, I felt so badly for you when you had to wear glasses, and now I'm wearing them. They're not bad. They look very attractive. Thank you. Let's say hello to Major Bob Ramsey. Major, Thank nice you, to Peter. see you. Right. Jonathan, we have to salute. He's a corporal, you see. I'm the Marine Corps. Uh, you were married to an airlines attendant, and you've been in the Corps for 22 years? Yes, sir. Did you start out like uh, Jonathan? Yes, sir. I started out as a private and came up to staff sergeant and then made warrant officer, and then later on, second lieutenant. And... How did you skip corporal? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, they're all in the sequence, you know, PFC, yeah. uh, Corporal, uh, but private Buck PFC, Sergeant. PFC, Corporal, then Sergeant. He did the whole Sergeant. Sergeant. Yeah. Next say, is Broadway okay. for this gentleman. Just, just. Sure. <laughs> uh, we're going to have a Hollywood Squares game right after this uh, commercial. So if you get three stars in a row, either across them or not a diagonal, it is up to them to figure out if the stars give you a correct answer, making one up, that's how they get the squares. Each completed game is worth $250. In addition, in our first three games, our players vie for a secret square. Ken? And Circle Stars this first secret square for a vacation California style at the luxurious Little America Westgate Hotel in San Diego. Featuring beautifully decorated guest rooms, award-winning cuisine, and the phone and blue room, all furnished by Little America Westgate. And to get there, an air-conditioned car furnished by Budget Rent-A-Car for fine transportation at competitive rates, available at airports and other locations nationwide. Budget Rent-A-Car plus the Timex Quartz, one of the most accurate timekeeping systems man can put on his wrist. More people buy Timex than any other watch in the world. And take along a $500 assortment of Ditto's tops and jeans. You'll feel the fit because every pair is hand-measured. Side saddle pants, high-rises, pre-washed denims, furnished by Ditto's. And selected from one of the 4,800 Western Auto stores, a Polaroid camera, Western Auto, the complete family store, featuring items for home, auto, and leisure living. Plus, a $3,000 boat from Chrysler Marine, the 14-foot Valiant Spirit with fiberglass cathedral hull for stability, complete with a C-1100 travel trailer and powered by a 45-horsepower electric start Chrysler motor. That's it, Peter. Well, thank you, Kenny. Let's show the whole audience to see the squares. Remember, stars have reached before the show. To help with the Bronx, but as always, are hearing the actual questions for the first time. Now, who won the toss? I guess you did, uh, did you, Bert? Yeah. Oh, good for you, dear. Pick a star. Rich Little. A George C. Scott used to have a television series. It was a very wonderful series. What was it called, George C. Scott? Why isn't this a question about war? I love war. <laughs> Fix me a war sandwich. <laughs> uh, uh, George C. Scott. God, that ruins my voice. Um, he had a TV series called East Side, West Side. Bertha? I'll agree. That's right. Good series. For the circle, Bob. William and Smedley. Smedley, nice to see you. Welcome back to the show. <laughs> according to the column, according to the column, you and your child, does the average two-year-old baby understand when his parents go away for a couple of days? Yeah, and if they do, I'll spit up in their slippers. You say they do? Yeah. I disagree. No, you know something? At that age, the child thinks he or she is being abandoned. Wow. All right, with well, the next. Bertha, your turn. I know they're coming back. Secret square uh, game. I'll go for Rosemary. I don't blame you. <laughs> Say, the great sphinx of Egypt yeah. has a human's head. And whose body? Milton Berle's. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, who's? All right, the Great Sphinx of Egypt has a human's head. Whose body? My sign, Leo. Lion. Lion. I'll agree. Right. With another circle. Okay, Bob, your turn. Milton Burl. That's it. Oh. 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 Now, 
It's a, it's a, tri a trip to San Diego. Now you listen, <laughs> <laughs> but it's also a three thousand dollar boat and needs. some watches and trip clothing. Milton, special envelope. Audience, don't shout out any answers, please. Who created Dr. Kildare? Frank G. Slaughter, Lloyd C. Douglas, or Max Brand? Dr. Kildare. I think it was Max Brand. Max Brand. I'll agree. It was Max Brand. San Diego vacation, car rental, the watch, the jeans, the camera, a $3,000 boat, all told, uh, close to $5,000, about $4,800. All right, back to the matter of money. And Bertha, you pick a star. Jonathan Winters. Elwood, yeah. the, the Reader's <laughs> Digest, recently called it the world's most important vegetable. What is it, Elwood? Oh. The world called it that? Because there's a lot of places in the world that just ain't no vegetables. <laughs> Siberia don't have but a few things. And you have to, it takes you six months to dig down to get one. I'll so. bet. But what would be the world's most important vegetable, Elwood? Most important? Uh-huh. Well, Mr. Chavez would say lettuce. Um... <laughs> At least I would join him in that. Uh, Brussels sprouts are not too big. Uh, <laughs> tomatoes. Corn. Uh, the most important vegetable. Mm -hmm. Cow flour. You know, I'm real hard pressed. Uh, uh, I know. Uh, I'd have to say the most important vegetable would be, and I know it's wrong, but I'd have to say is beets. Because I hate them so bad. Bertha? Beets. I disagree. Good for you. No, it's the uh, the potato, the lowly spud. Of course spud. it is. Of course it is. With a circle. Bob, your turn. Go right ahead. Major. Paul Lynn. Paul, true or false, according to the Bible, you, you, Paul Lynn, you are a sinner. As long as they spelled my name right. <laughs> <laughs> But according to the Bible, are you a sinner? Yes. I agree. We're all sinners. Yes, for all have sinned. Romans 3, 23. You've got the X. Bertha, your turn, dear. George Goble. George, uh, has a vice president of the United States ever been wanted in New Jersey on a felony charge? A vice president. Oh, uh oh here we go again. Uh, yes. Oh. All right, I'll agree with you, George. You're from New Jersey, too. Bertha. And I don't know. You don't know? You know who it was? Does anybody know? I wouldn't have known Zero this. Agnew? Uh, no. Aaron Burr. After shooting Alex Hamilton. Alexander, Aaron Burr. All right, you've got the circle there, Bob. It's your turn. Florence Henderson. For $250, Florence, true or false? In Ireland, Florence. Florence is a very popular name for a boy in Ireland. In Ireland? Hmm? True or false? Gee, I've, I haven't heard that. And I'm of Irish... Uh... Oh, I, I've never heard that. I don't think so. She said, that's false. I disagree. No, that is true. Florence, the yes. little sissies. <laughs> <laughs> Put an X there, 250 bucks. <laughs> We're going to pause for a commercial. We're we'll going to play a secret square game worth about $4,700. Maybe Bertha will win that one. Let's hope so. Okay, hope we'll so. be back. Secret Square Game. We're being entertained by Jonathan Winters. Okay, Ken. And exarts the second Secret Square for a complete kitchen featuring the Magic Chef side-by-side -side refrigerator freezer with energy-saving Econicol construction, 30-inch electric range with smooth ceramic wipe clean top, a microwave oven with seven solid-state heat control settings, and a red-button convertible dishwasher, all furnished by Magic Chef. Plus, a True Test 8-gallon shop vac from True Value Hardware Stores, a combined value and personal service in over 5,000 locations nationwide, and elegant rest in distressed tawny oak dining furniture by Keller. Exclusive armor guard, high-pressure laminate tops, protect against spills. It's more than just dining furniture, it's Keller. And enjoy the wedge, Zenith's most popular, powerful modular stereo with precision built-in components and rich natural allegro sound. At Zenith, the quality goes in before the name goes on. And... The Sierra Madre Grandfather Clock from Seth Thomas. Handsome, heavy, solid wood case, distressed oak finish, eight-day weight-driven Westminster chime, hammered ornamental dial and pendulum. A tradition from Seth Thomas. That's it, Peter. Let's show the home audience to Secret Square and Major Bob Ramsey. We'll start this game, sir. Jonathan Winters. Sir Trafalgar. Yes, quite. You in England call them primary schools. What do we call them here in America? Well, of course... Today, there are no more schools at all, you see. Really? Yes, we are almost bankrupt. 
children are being just uh, taught studies in an open field. Uh, primaries in England. I was educated uh, all over the world when I was privately educated in an aircraft. Um, I would have to say over here they would be probably labeled high schools. High schools. I'll agree. Nope. Kindergarten. Kindergarten. All right. With a circle. Birth or I said he didn't pay George Goble. Mr. Goble, true or false, there is a Catholic parish in Las Vegas that holds services in a topless discotheque. <laughs> Uh, yes, and uh, there's a sign that says, uh, do not tip or touch the choir. Uh, yes, this, this yeah, is true, but that's not going to be very long. I disagree. Oh, oh no. absolutely. You know, it used to be a, a country western bar, I right. think. And uh, it's changed hands. It's, uh, the, the, they're trying to build a new church. Bing Crosby just did a benefit for this uh, place, and they're going to build their new church. Right. That, well, that's a true story. Uh, that, that's why Newhart's so devout, right. yes, of course. Uh, Bob? Florence Henderson. In what city is the great museum known as the Prado located? What city? The Prado. In what city? Mm hmm um, Somewhere in Spain, probably, but I, I've gone absolutely blank on any city in Spain. You're kidding. <laughs> uh, Mom, the question to Bob. Would you like the question? I don't know the answer. Uh, Madrid, for one. Oh, <laughs> I could not think of that city to save myself. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sevilla. Say, so, history records that every morning Abe Lincoln would flip a certain book open and read the first paragraph on the left hand side. What book was it Abe Lincoln would read every morning? I'm sure it was the Bible. I'll agree. He believed that the Lord was telling him something about the upcoming day. Very good. All right. You've got a next there. Where's your turn? Rich Little. According to the San Francisco Examiner, what land animal has the biggest eyes of all? Oh, that's Carol Chan. And Carol's eyes are so big because she's got her finger caught in the lights. <laughs> land animal, biggest eyes. Biggest eyes of a land animal? Mm hmm. Big land animal. Big eyes. Um, land animal. Um, sheep, a goat, chicken, dog. It's only a half hour show. Right? Uh, no. <laughs> well, look at Johnny Winters. He does a whole act up here. Um, I would say. Um, Rich, land animal. What what is that guy doing down there? <laughs> biggest land uh, animal. We must carry on here. Uh, biggest Let's go land forward. animal is right. uh, with big eyes. Great big eyes. Yeah. Which uh, that one? would be the big eyed moose. A moose. Brother? I'll agree with that. No, a horse. <laughs> horse. Can't put it next there. Now, Bob, it's a secret square game. You're in fairly good shape. You really are. You've won one game. Uh, would you gamble for $4,700? I'm going to go with Rich Little. All right, for $500. Uh, who recently said, what champagne is to drinking, I am to acting? Was that said by Raquel Welch, Truman Capote, or Lee Grant? What champagne is to drinking, I am to acting. Raquel Welch, Truman Capote, or Lee Grant? What champagne is to drinking, I am to acting. Uh, I don't think it'd be Raquel Welch. And I don't think it would be Truman Capote. <laughs> Because we've seen him act. Uh, I think uh, it would be what was the Lee sir? Grant is the Lee, one. Lee Grant. Lee Grant. I'll agree. Truman Capote. Put a circle there. We have a commercial. You're back in the game, Bertha. Paul Lynn to win. All righty for a tie game. History tells us that Paul Revere only had 35 cents in his pocket when he made the famous ride. What was he planning to, to use it for? <laughs> well, in those days, uh, a Milky Way and a woman. <laughs> 35 cents, that's all he had in his pocket. He was planning to use that 35 cents for something. What? Uh, probably, um, 35, uh, probably a, a little snack. I mean, something to eat. Bertha? I'll agree. When he got to Lexington, he wanted to have dinner. 
30. You could have had an eight courser, but that's good. We have a tag game. Who is the secret square? Waylon and Smedley will have another secret square game right now. Kenny? And this time, sir, will start the secret square. And here's your introduction to real excitement and fun. Valued at over $1,100, it's the Con Caper Organ. With just two fingers, you can perform like a pro. Plus, add color, character, and charm to your home with fireproof, inexpensive Z-Brick, America's most popular brick wall covering, and Walter Carpet Striking Lantau Bay, featuring durable bandlon quality, silky nylon plush pattern in soft multi-colorations, the California look by Walter. Also, blue luster carpet shampoo for soft, clean carpet. You can help make shampooing easier. The blue luster carpet shampoo that can be also rented. And $1,000 worth of lamps. Quizel's lighting's house full of lights. Lamps for every room. Designed in the tradition of American craftsmen. Glass hand-blown and hand-decorated. All furnished by Quizel Lighting. Plus, the new 22-volume World Book Encyclopedia, including research guide and index volume. World Book is easy to use, easy to read. And Childcraft, the 15-volume How and Why Library. That's it, Peter. Let's show the whole audience to see the square. Bertha, you're going to start this game here. Suzanne Fleshette. Susie, experts have described this very important thing in our body as weighing from 8 to 12 ounces and built much like a two-story house. What is it? Well, in my case, mm. it's not my chest. Uh, I believe... Uh, 8 to 12 ounces and built much like a two-story house. Very I, important thing in our body. I believe it is our heart. The heart. I'll agree. Right, with a circle. Okay, Bob, your turn. Milton Burrow. Milton, do we get our ham from near the front or the back of the pig? Ham. Ham comes from the pig. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no doubt, burled ham. <sighs> uh, uh, front or back? Yeah. From the front. The front. Bob, it's your question. He said the front of a pig. I disagree. Good for you. I, I think it, that from Nashville, I was going, yeah, from the hind leg. Okay, with the next. Right to your turn. Lawrence Henderson. Florence. Yeah. Uh, columnist Abigail Van Buren says she doesn't basically think it's a good idea to physically punish children. But she says that if you feel you must, simply slap them on the... Oh, she says it's okay to hit? Slap them on the... She doesn't believe in it, but if you must, slap them on the... Well, I think the place that's the most padded is their little bottoms. The bottom. Uh, I'll agree. Nope, you know, you, you could hit not the coccyx, the hand. something like that. Yes, right on the wrist, especially. Oh, that's not nice, it's, Abigail. It's, an, it's enough to hurt their feelings, but not hurt their bodies on the wrist. This is according to Abigail Van Buren. Oh, Put an X there, Bob, a break for you. Paul Lynn. Say, Paul, according to experts at the Indianapolis Star, <laughs> is it a good idea rather a good idea for mailmen who are often bothered by dogs is to keep something with them while they do their job. Keep what with them? Um, cocker spaniel and heat. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Mailmen, they're being bothered by dogs. Now, they should keep something with them while they do their job. Keep what with them? Well, I know they're allowed to um, carry mace which, you know, you can wash out of a dog's eyes or, or if it harms it. Uh, I, uh, it, it probably isn't the answer, but I, I, I would say mace. Mace. Disagree. Uh, you know what it is? Dog biscuits. Hey, that does make sense. Dog biscuits. Why not? Okay, Bertha. Uh, George Goble. Put an extra first, then pick a star. Now pick a star. George Goble. All right. Mr. Goble, in a worldwide poll of statesmen, scientists, and other uh, leaders... People were asked what person in all of history, in all of history, they admired the most. Did they say Abraham Lincoln, Alexander the Great, or John Wayne? John Wayne. John Wayne. I'll agree. No, Abe Lincoln, followed by Churchill, Gandhi, Shakespeare, and Socrates. Uh, we can't put an X there. You'll have to earn that yourself. Another way to earn that. I think you? I'll go with George Goble. Well, let, let me just say this. You may go with George. I just wanted to point out that George is not the secret square. And there's another way to... And another way to win, and you did choose someone, so okay. you're still going to go with George? Yes, I'll go with George. All right. Was, just for my own uh, edification, was Waylon and Smelly, were they the secret square? Oh, that would have broken my heart. Okay, <laughs> for $500, George, we all know that Francis Scott Key wrote the famous Star Spangled Banner. Mm -hmm. But was he really there when the bombs were bursting in air? Uh, no, he was in uh, Palm Springs playing cards with Sammy Kahn. <laughs> was he not? Uh, 
Uh, what yes, was Jimmy he, Van Heusen? He, he was in a, in a boat and watching this battle, and he saw the rockets, and that's how he knew that the flag was still there, because the rockets were still going on. He said he was there. That's right. I agree. Oh, sure. He saw the whole thing. You got yourself $500. Good to you. with the buzzer going off and all, and we're going to add up the scores. Bertha, you've got yourself uh, $250 in cash. You won thank one you. game. And uh, we have some nice party gifts for you. And we thank you, dear, for playing the Hollywood Squares. Thank Hope you, you had dear. some fun. Oh, I did. I really did. I enjoyed it. All righty. It. Good score for you, Bob. Major Bob Ramsey, you've got yourself a $4,800 secret square. Wow. And you've got $500 in cash, and you've won the car. Thank Kenny? you, sir. You're welcome. Right. It's Pontiac's smart, efficient, subcompact aster. The response of four cylinder, all new Pontiac built cast iron engine, distinctive styling, overhead cam, three speed floor shift. Pontiac Astra. I'd like to thank our stars, Suzanne Plachette, the Bob Newhart Show, Milton Burl. He sells tires. Uh, <laughs> hey, I like that one. You do that well, by the way. That's really nice. We wish you a nice evening. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye bye. Having fun? Oh, hi, Mark. We were just testing the trap door. It was okay two days ago. Well, we're extra testing it? <laughs> yeah. Right. Russian roulette every night at 11. We're going to drop people through here. Bob Quigley Productions.